so what's up y'all i am getting a tonsil sectomy i have been having problems with my tonsils for some time now and um i think it's time to get these bitches out so wish me luck because i never really had a surgery before at all i don't really have too many problems for real thank god all that good stuff I'll be getting you know this surgery on the 29th and i'm gonna record my i'm gonna try to record my um my recovery i'm not gonna do do the most with it if i'm not feeling good i'm not gonna record hopefully y'all enjoy the video make sure you like comment and subscribe let me know what y'all want to see next on my channel let me know if you had a tonsil sectomy how did it go for you down below if you didn't have one you know it's all right if you want to just interact with me so i'll see y'all later in this vlog then okay um they just told me when to come back or whatever all the good stuff like that and um i'm a little nervous and i think when is it tuesday this tuesday coming up today's the 24th i am gonna get this tonsil sectomy let me know if y'all ever had a tonsil sectomy when you was little or now recently a couple years ago or something like that because this is my first time having one and it's going to be interesting. I'm going to actually record some of my recovery process because I have looked on YouTube about it. And a couple people said that, you know, like it's kind of hard to record that process. Maybe I'll record the first couple of days and that's it and then come back the last day because it takes two weeks to recover. So, and I'm not going to put this video out until I'm done recovering. And of course, y'all know that because I have to record some days of me recovering. But I'm not going to come back until I'm like fully done recovering and talk about how I feel. I would just see y'all the day of my surgery. And also, um, I have to bring someone, like somebody has to bring me up here to get the surgery because I won't be able to drive and all that good stuff. So I'll probably be here for some hours. I really don't know how long I'll be here. I hope I come in the morning because I do not want to be here all day, to be honest with y'all. So. Good morning, y'all. It's actually the morning of my surgery. I am getting ready to go. I'm a little nervous. I'm trying to see if I want to take down my hair. Y'all just don't talk about my hair. Okay. I think I'm gonna just leave my hair alone because I ain't nothing wrong with this ponytail. Y'all better not act like y'all don't be having ugly ass ponytails. So I had to put on a little cap and my gown and stuff. Um, I had to take my piercings out because you can't have piercings during this procedure. I also, the nurse was pretty nice. Um, she asked me, she was like, you're, you're not nervous? She was like, because you're pretty calm. 
And I was like, no, I mean, I'm nervous on the inside, but not really. Oh, I got an IP drip going for right now. And they should be coming to get me in a minute. I'm watching TV, that's why I keep looking away. So I'll see y'all later. Good morning, y'all. It is day two since I had my surgery. Um, I didn't feel like recording after I got done. Update my throat is hurting. Um, it more so it hurts when I swallow versus just hurt by itself because of my medicine. It helps to drink something cold or cool but you're gonna have to keep drinking something cold or cool to really keep it to help so far i got um some probiotic strawberry shakes some yogurt some jello i also got some popsicles and ice cream i also made some chicken noodle soup yesterday everything was soft i made it to where it was very soft and it'll go down easy i just need it let it cool off so far it hurts but it feels better than me keeping tonsils in that's gonna hurt later I lost the balls to my um, um septum ring if you can't see it and I lost the ball to my earring so I gotta hit two more balls for both of those you gotta take your earrings out when you get the type of procedure done because they said something about you may get shocked if you was to keep those in it's like probably six or seven in the morning um if i feel like it i'll come back with an update a little bit later today but if not i'll just go along when i feel like updating y'all i'll see y'all later what's up y'all Today is day three. I did not feel like recording after I recorded for the second day, but this morning I did wake up. My medicine wore off and I woke up but my ears was hurting. So my ears was gonna be hurting anyway if I was off my medicine, so that's what happened. My throat was also hurting when I first work up off my medicine. So I had to do that. And it's kind of hard to talk throughout the whole day. Cause sometimes, depending on how you feel, you will lose your voice. You get irritated real bad if your medicine wear off cause it makes your throat hurt very bad. And you also, um, I guess that's like the process. I guess your process for healing Cause your scabs gonna start falling out your mouth when you like brush your teeth and stuff. I feel all right right now. I'm gonna get ready to take some more medicine soon. Because if you be off your medicine, it's gonna hurt so bad. They give you medicine, but you also have to rotate it with another medicine. The medicine I showed y'all with the medicine they provide. Because they not gonna refill your medicine they prescribe you so far i still been eating jello still been eating jello vanilla jello orange jello i got ice cream i've been trying to eat stuff that's soft and if you do eat something that's hot let it cool down a little bit because it's gonna it's gonna hurt pretty bad those noodles i showed y'all with the egg i let it cool down a little bit and it was very soft i have since this is day three i have the rest of the till next Tuesday for it to be a full week. I looked on YouTube before um about getting your tonsils removed and they said around day four or five that it gets pretty hard. 
Now, that's if you decide to not take your medicine like you used to. I'm going to keep taking mine because I really haven't had any bad side effects. But I can be able to come back on day four or five to let y'all know how I feel. I also mentioned that I don't the pills, I, even though I'm not really supposed to be swallowing pills, they told me about this gel slash liquid Motrum B. And the place I live, unfortunately, didn't have any. So I had to do the pills. And the reason why I was shaking that bottle up was because, shit, I had to break it down into like a liquid form so that was the only way i was able to break it down into a liquid form anyway so that's why I, that's why i was shaking the bottle up um day four and well yesterday and today which is yesterday was day four and today's day five it kind of is irritating more because i have to wait for the pills to break down with the waiting it's makes my mouth hurt. So I'm, now I have a little bit of the medicine they prescribe, but I, I only can take a little bit, like a little bit, not like how I was when I first got it, and they're not gonna prescribe me anymore. But, like right now, I'm waiting for the pills to break down in this water bottle, and I'm taking two of them because one doesn't do anything for me because it, it, my mouth hurts so bad. Which is why I've been stopping in between me talking a little bit. And I looked inside my mouth yesterday. Like I was able to open it wider and put the flashlight in it. Not too wide though because it's the art. But it looks ugly. Like it's white in the inside because I guess it's mouth flesh. Well, not I guess, but it's mouth flesh. But it looks definitely ugly. It's <laughs> it still hurts to talk. And it's just, I don't know. I'm ready for this little healing process to be over with because it takes two weeks to heal. And I'm not, I'm still not talking right, even though it's day five. And it'll be a week that I got this surgery Tuesday, so hopefully by that time, my mouth feel way better. Since I feel a little better, I'm going to probably just, because it's really close to the fourth around where I'm at. So I'm not going to just sit in the house. Now I've been sitting in the house since I got my surgery. I ain't went nowhere. But I'm completely bored on the fourth. Even though I could because I really don't, it don't matter to me, but... I don't feel like hearing about the mouth. So I have to, I'm mentally getting myself prepared to be around people. And that'll be fun. The fourth is on a Sunday, so I'm not gonna be out all day. And I can't drink. Can't smoke. Cause ooh, if I drink was to drink while I got after the surgery, I had I probably, I would break the fuck out of it. Like, I probably hate myself for that. It more so hurts to swallow. Like, it's not my throat. Like, if, if I wasn't on a medicine at all, it'd probably just be my throat. This hurt. It me swallow. But it just more so hurt when I talk and swallow. Like I said, drinking some cold helps, but it still sting a little bit. I'm going to be excellent. Like was twisting up my hair, putting it in a ponytail. I get a fresh retwist. I try to um when I put my hair up, I try to keep it like twisted in its form. So like instead of just putting it up, it's, so it can be still kind of fresh. I need to um, spray some. I need to spray some water on it, with hydrating mist or whatever I got. So that's what I'm gonna do. So right now, this is what I'm using on my locks. Anyway. It says it's hemp oil and olive moisturizers, hair mist. Spray that first and then I got this dry oil spray. I ain't gonna be on here long at all because my mouth's gonna hurt too bad. It's argan oil of Morocco dry oil spray mist. I'm gonna spray this first. Make sure y'all spray, hydrate y'all locks first and then put oil on it. 
Because if you been putting oil on dry locks, then how you gonna get the moisture in there if it's not already wet? I haven't hydrated my locks in a couple of days. And I don't have my bunny because when I get in the shower, I put my bunny on. And you know, how it go. But I'm gonna come back to y'all. Um, if it don't be tomorrow, probably the next day. If it don't be the next day, probably tomorrow. It's when I come back. Um, to talk to y'all and it hurt so you really don't be focused on recording I'm just recording this journey for y'all cause I know a few of y'all probably seen me ex on my Instagram story have you ever got your tonsil removed and so far only one person said yeah that I could see so this is why I'm recording this so y'all can understand and I may insert a picture. What's up y'all? It is <clears throat> it is day seven since I had my tonsil sectomy. Um I'm so ready for this to be over with so I can eat like I wanna eat. My voice isn't fully back yet and everyone this close to me I have been just texting them because I have not been trying to talk on the phone as much the healing process look kind of nasty if you don't know about getting your tonsils removed um, it's gonna be white scabs in the back of your throat and they will fall out either while you brushing your teeth or like while you swallowing this morning I woke up this been kind of happening for like three days now because I'm low on my medicine that they prescribed to me. I have been taking the Motrin IB. It's been helping. Like I said, I've been having to mix two pills because this, this pain is like kind of severe. So I've been having to mix two pills instead of one in the water that I showed y'all. I was shaking up in the last clip. They said... I look like I said, I looked at it. People on YouTube that got their tonsils removed too, and they said around day five or six it gets kind of you know, things when certain healing processes is gonna get worse before it get better. And as for me, when I having the medicine they prescribed because I was taking it, you know, without having my medicine, I was supposed to go back and forth between. If you ever got your tonsils removed, you will know that in the morning. When you wake up, it's going to hurt. Like, if you off your medicine that they prescribe to you, or the medicine that you've been taking, like, in between, it's going to hurt real bad. Like, I, work, I woke up with earaches and headaches. And the water mixed with the pills, you know, so it can just help soothe it. And it actually does. It's not, it doesn't soothe it as much as the medicine they prescribe, but it does soothe it, you know. I looked on the internet, like, I started coughing up on um, mucus around day five, but I looked it up and they said that it's better to not spit it out, like spit saliva out or your mucus, because that'll cause you to be dehydrated. So I just... If I had to cough, I just kept swallowing. I know it may sound nasty to some of y'all, but I ain't want to be dehydrated. And I kind of felt like I was a little bit. So I just said, no. Nah. Like, I'm in a stage where it gets worse. Probably tomorrow, I feel a little better. But I'm just ready for, like, the next week type of phase. Or whenever my two weeks is up. Because I'm ready to eat crunchy stuff. I'm ready to drink. Because... 
for holiday did just pass and I didn't get a chance to drink nothing. I've been drink like also when you drink water or anything that you drink when you get your tonsil removed, you got have to basically sip it. Because if you offer your medicine just a little bit, it's gonna sting pretty bad and yeah, y'all don't understand like the pain of having your throat sting. It stings. The nurse, when I had woke up from my anesthesia after I got my surgery, the nurse told me that um, it's like for both of these medicines that I got, it's better to take it like when you feel the slightest amount of pain versus when like your pain is really bad. If you take it when it's like hurting bad, it's going to hurt to drink it. Drink like the water medicine or liquid tabs that you got. I'll be back with an update. Whenever, because I, I just really make come back whenever I feel better or just feel like talking to y'all. So, I will see y'all in the next clip. What is up, y'all? I am back with the update about my tonsil sectomy. It has been. No, a week and three days. It's been a week and three days since I got my tonsil removed. So basically, I have two holes in my throat to get rid of my tonsils. I vlogged it because um, maybe you want to get your tonsils removed. If you want to know how I feel, how it is. Right now, my tonsils is almost done recovering. Well, not my tonsils because I don't have tonsils anymore. But they're almost done recovering. This Tuesday, I went to my doctor's appointment for the checkup. I don't have to go back for a follow-up. He basically said that everything seems fine. And um, that little... That, what that little thing is? That little between your throat. He said that was swollen. So, I probably feel like this my tongue is swollen or something. Like I told y'all earlier, my scabs have fallen out. Most of them have. It still kind of hurts to talk just slightly. But um, I should be fully healed in like a few more days. I have been slowly eating regular stuff again. Like it, with getting your tonsils removed, it's more so of you trying to get back to your regular self than just being like, oh, I need to keep getting a checkup to see if it's recovered. Like just keep trying to eat what you would normally eat. Like I try to go back to crunchy foods, like, but you got to chew it more so through until you fully are done healing if you a coffee drinker like you gotta just slowly go back into that type of stuff still try to let your foods get a little cooler or soggy but you'll be all right my medicine that i have been taking i am out of the medicine they prescribed to me but i also have been taking that motrin ib that i told y'all about now i've been taking it slowly like i um i don't have to take it every four to six hours like it is instructed but I take it like when I just feel a little pain. So it's it's not really needed as much anymore. It depends on how I feel. With the Motrin I be now, since I take it like when I feel pain, it's usually when I wake up in the middle of the night. But this was the update on my tonsillectomy and how I'm feeling right now. I feel good. Um, it's just probably take a few more days for them to be fully recovered where I won't feel any pain or anything. It don't hurt as much anymore. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment about you getting your tonsil removed. Are you scared? Are you nervous to go under anesthesia? How do you feel about getting your tonsils removed? If you are getting your tonsils removed and i will see you guys in the next video bye